In light of the foregoing, I do consider that the accused person is 50 years of age, his remorsefulness, and the fact that he indeed learned his lesson and closed down shop and relocated, thus does not operate and run the Said Good News International Church and that he sold off his TV station. I also consider the length of time taken for this case to be concluded, the resources that may have been resulting thereof, that he is a family man and they depend him on their source of livelihood. I'm also cognizant of the accused diligent attendance to court. All the foregoing are in so far as mitigating circumstances are concerned. In respect to the charge of possession and exhibition, the defense counsel in mitigation stated that the accused had been charged with a similar offense, thereby making him a repeat offender. That however, the said offense may not have, have been intentional. This cannot be the case. For once the accused person had been charged, that was information enough to him that he was running against the law and he ought to have refrained from the same and, and not to call for deterrence from the court. As such, he knowingly reoffended. In addition, indeed it is true that the long haul effects on the viewers of the unauthorized content are grave and have tumultuous effects in the long run. In light of the, going, of the foregoing, in respect to count two, I hereby sentence the accused person to 12 months imprisonment, while in respect to count three, the accused person's explanation of not knowing the need for a license from the film classification board, having obtained a broadcasting one, is a reasonable, though not entirely acceptable, as ignorance of the law is no defense, hence the resulting conviction. And in light of the same, I sentence the accused to six months imprisonment. The sentences shall run concurrently. The accusations that are based uh, where that information has been taken and how But of course, uh, uh, we are aware that uh, I will add you.
tunafazi kuangea hapa anyway